Welcome back everyone to episode 8 of Satisfactory Update 7. As you can see, I've uh, fixed my pump here. Last episode, after I got done recording it, I realized everything was not working because I had put that pump in there backwards. There's your problem. Anyway, it's fixed now. And if you uh, look at our Power production, nice and smooth, high level, almost almost 300 megawatts being produced. So that is functioning correctly. Also, I just noticed up in the sky. I thought this was a sky box, but it's actually a th 3D objects. That big planet's rotating, and it's got a little moon going around it. I just found that inter interesting. The most impressive. Anyway, I gotta make a bunch of stuff here. Uh, I wanna make another water pump. I wanna have an even four water pumps on that uh, little lake. And I think there's room for one more in there. Because what I'm gonna do today is send all of my power production out to that area. In other words, build a uh, a building with water pumps and the uh, the uh, coal power plants out there. And yes, I got the stuff I need. Let's head on out there. And once I got that done, I can tear the uh, that big water pipe out and uh, <laughs> replace it with belts to bring coal out here. Yeah, you can see there's a, one spot there for another water pump. And since there's those junctions there, I should be able to just attach it in there. I do think I'm going to need to move that uh, power pole, however. That one is superfluous. Let's see, how am I going to move this out? Disconnecting everything. But one thing at a time here. You can hear the uh, pumps running there. They actually run and stop, run and stop, because they're producing far more water than we're using at the moment. It's not the neatest thing. I've been watching videos of some of the more veteran players of this game who've been invested thousands of hours on it. Building buildings of such beauty and symmetry. I am very jealous. But I haven't quite played this game enough. As I said, I last time I played it was a couple of years ago. So I really haven't, uh, the construction of these things haven't become second nature to me. So I don't know if this, my build will ever look really nice. I'll make it as nice as I can. Yeah, we're going to have to bring the coal out here. Uh, let's see, I can bypass that hole so I can take it out. Okay. All right. I think uh, there's a couple things really I need to do. I need to build this up. I want to put the uh, 
coal generators, coal generators, yeah, coal power generators up above these water pumps. So I have to build a uh, raised area. Now let's check our wall sections. I don't think I've unlocked concrete. I should have unlocked concrete walls, but eh, I can change it after the fact, I am assuming. Been able to change the uh, platforming blocks into concrete blocks after the fact. Really just sort of painting them. See how high do I need to go to get above the tops of these suckers? Yeah, we got to go one higher, I think. Okay. One of the other things I enjoy about this game is that uh, there's no structural gravity. You can uh, hang things in midair and they'll just stay there. The other game I play most often is uh, Imperial Galactic Survival. And you can build many, many things with blocks, uh, but they do have gravity. So if you put too much stuff over air and don't have it supported, it'll collapse. So this is a refreshing change. Now I need to get there so I can start to uh, build a bunch of platforms. This will be a, a heavy building episode because uh, not only do I need to bring the uh, Coal generators out here. I need to dismantle the water pipe that's running the other direction. I also want to put down a concrete roadway, so to speak, pathway from that other um, factory area to here so I can run the uh, power cables and the, the belts alongside it. Sort of makes it neater, plus I can uh, makes it easier to run. And uh, also looking forward to getting some vehicles in the future. So we're going to be doing a lot of that. We've got more than enough concrete and everything else made already and since everything's still running while I'm out here building uh, stockpiling those materials back at the factory I do believe the update 8 version of this has settings where you can um, permanently fly around. That would be uh, very nice when you're trying to build stuff like this. Rather than having to uh, build your way up into the air just so you can see what the hell you're doing.
Okay, I need to go up one more. to stand here. There we go. Yeah, we're producing a lot more water than we're using at the moment, which is good. It uh, leads to better expansion. What I have in mind for here is to start with four of those coal plants which is just about what that uh, coal deposit that I'm currently running can handle. And if I want to expand beyond the uh, four coal power plants, I'll have to find another coal source. And there's none other source close here well relatively close up on the other side of those mountains um, I think there's a couple that are fairly nearby but you do have to go up and around the mountains there okay this is a nice little uh, platform to build on look at the shadow of the uh, space elevator there Yeah, let's see, I don't have enough to make this, but I can see just how big that is, and it's about right. You can see I have a lot of room in the back there for the pipes and the belts. Yeah, I think we'll be able to get four up on here. And then we can build out the other way on the other side of the pipes and the belts to, uh, we're going to expand it to more. Perhaps four more, I think we can run eight, maybe even more off of those four water um, pumps. Extractors is the word I'm looking for. All right, I gotta run back and make some more stuff here. All right, I'm back. I'm going to put down one of the generators before I go and tear everything apart. It's a good way of working because I'm, like I said, I'm manufacturing lots of stuff over there while I'm doing this. So do I want to start on that side or the other side? Hmm. Yeah, all that looks there. Eh. Not quite what I'm looking for there. It's okay. We'll try it over here. It's like we're moving furniture around in your house. You gotta get the Feng Shui just the right. see what this looks like yeah not, lots of room here in the back it's a little bit close to the wall 
think I want to move that a little further out. And I'll place all of the uh, other generators even with this one, so it's hard to get this one in the right spot. Sort of the guide. Okay, Let's see how that looks. Oh yeah, that's fine. We got a little walking room around the edge there. And the same amount of room there. Yeah, I think that'll do. Start building my roadway here. What am I thinking of? Think. Use your brain. Hey, think, but fly. Think. Yeah, I think coming off there is a good spot for it. All right, I think we're ready to disconnect here. You hear all the circuit breakers pop in there because I just cut off their power supply. And I've got to dismantle all of this we got to get all three of these guys moved over. I'm going to turn them all off here. don't know if it's really necessary to actually turn them off. Okay. It's moving time. This is going to be quite a monstrous move. I'm going to leave the uh, platforms here because uh, it's a nice spot here to put a, a unique factory. I might even end up uh, moving all of my iron production up, up here. That'll give me some more space down on the main floor there to expand the uh, copper and the limestone. And I didn't really want to get rid of that pole. It's all right. Put it back. I do want to get rid of all this. Turn this little area to its pristine state. All right. I do anything here. 
a splitter down here. I may want to tap off some of this um, bull, send it over to the iron area. That, so I think you need coal to make steel. Although, I may not be able to siphon off any of this coal without endangering the four coal generators I got going. So I think this deposit's only good for about four of them. Keep them 100% efficient. Hard to get that lined up. Doesn't really matter, I'll put it there anyway, just in case. As I said, I maybe mean, I'm gonna if I expand past the four old generators, I'll have to run another uh, miner and belt over from another coal deposit somewhere, so either way we'll probably end up not using all this coal for our power. So now my factory is completely shut down. Nothing's running. It's always a hard part. Making a big move like this. There's a lot of deconstruction involved. In this episode will be a bit longer than the others. I try to keep them down to half an hour, but this will probably be more like an hour. So much to do, and so little time. Start taking these down. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. My inventory's full. I'm going to drop some stuff off there, which I just did. All right. I need to start building this walkway. I gotta make sure I'm not too close to the fart mountain over here. Find a good level there to start with. And let's see. Yeah, we're still riding on the ground there. Uh, I gotta pick this stuff up, get it out of my way. Huh. One roll of copper wire. Soup mode there. And you'll notice I actually mapped this and the wedge, the ramp to the hot bar. figure out where I want to join this. I want to join it here on this ramp. 
I have to move this out a bit. And it's going right into the stone, so we're going to have to go up a bit. Yeah. Get rid of that ramp. Okay. Here I go down. Yeah, one more. Didn't hurt. Right. Rampage. Just had to remember to click it twice for zoop mode here. All right, how are we going to join this guy up? I think I want the two meter. Yeah, that works. More or less. It's close. Very close. That's the other thing I haven't figured out. What the veterans have already figured out. How to get these going up neatly. It's close. Okay. Now to continue back up, hook this up with our main area. top of that. No, I can't bother. Well, I can if I do it this way. Okay. Let's zoop it. that up. That's going to go up a little bit. Not that much. going to be a little ramp. Hard to tell how far off we are.
could be going this way. At least we'll have the little lip right at the other area here. Yeah, like that. It's not ideal, but it's neater anyway. Hi, big guy. You don't say. Tell me about your day. Okay, let's run our power lines back out here. Just for the sake of neatness, I like to run it along the, the pathway there. I think I want it on this side. Let's see how far we can go here. The other things I'm looking for do an update eight. Which I'm waiting for uh, to be actually released. Stable, not experimental. Um, those really big power lines. Go away. And do you go away? I'll bring the power in from the other side here. Continue the power cables up to the building. And I don't know if you noticed or not, but I did unlock with the coupons some of those wall mounted power outlets. Never used them before. Seems like this is a opportunity to do so. I got some walls there. I think I want the two-sided one. Bring the cable up on the outside here and... Then attach the water pumps to the inside. No, I don't want that. Yeah, I think I need one there for neatness sake. Find a good spot for it there. see it there. We'll go there. Okay. 
And you... Do that. Alright. This whole mess is hooked up back to the main area. Meanwhile, back at the main area, just to realize I need to uh, keep the coal miner running. We're going to run the, the belts out to our new spot. Just realize I took all the power away from the, the coal miner. And uh, also, I've been thinking it getting that the uh, coal power started up. It's going to be a, a tricky affair. I may have to put down a bunch of um, biomass burners hooked up to just one of the coal generators. And provide just enough power for that one to crank up. And then um, turn on the other three and start them up one at a time. And when I got all four of them running, then I can actually uh, reattach power to the main base here. Anyway, I gotta get coal out there, or it's all it's all moot. Big guy always sounds like he's laughing. <laughs> the jolly fat man. It following this direction. I get it down here. I'm coming now. Give me a hard time. Do it in little sections at a time. Hmm. Yeah, it won't attach there for some reason. Or too steep. That's all right. Oh, come on. Attach, damn you. What the hell? It's kind of funky. You can't tell me you can't go that way, can you? I mean, really. Is there something about that it doesn't like? Possibly. Ah. 
Okay. Wrong one. Rid of that. Right, you. I'm down here. I know you can do it. Okay, will you attach there? Thank you. Sheesh. Talk about being difficult. Funny, we got some coal coming down the line here, but uh, the miner's not powered up. So that's just stuff that's been sitting on the, the belts. Alright, we're up back up on top here. And I think we need to put down our stuff so we can get... Uh, Get it all lined up so we know where uh, the other three generators are going to be and with their splitters and their pipes. Yep, that looks lined up all right. Okay. Now, getting the pipes. All right, that's fine. So we're gonna use a conveyor belt lift here, I think. Come in from down below, straight up. Let's get the problem finished first. It's going to have to go up and over. Hmm. That's not good. I mean, there's a support right there in the middle of the belt. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to come out a little further, I believe. See, I haven't used these before either. Let's see how we're going to do this. Build mode, default. As you hit R. Reversed. Does that take you down? Yep, that's the side that I want. The entryway. Like that. All right. Get out of the fart gas here. Okay, so I've bring coal out to here. Run the belt out here part part of the way so we know where to match up. These belts are so untidy, but at the moment they're the only way to get your raw materials around. To get uh, vehicles like trucks, I can make a uh, loading area for 
trucks and have them come out here. Drop the coal off. Even that's probably a stopgap because, I mean, we'd be moving on to other energy sources. Got oil, we got nuclear. Coal made its way up here. It's good. I think that's about where I want that pipe. Let's just raise that up so the coal can go underneath it. Make it look neat. Now, can I put the junction on the end of this? That's the other problem. The junctions don't go on to the ends with these stands. Put that one there, but it's too close to the splitter. It's going to have come out further. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. right now what can I do to make that look better it needs a support of some kind pipeline support yeah and you can't put that on there you actually need a little piece of pipeline to attach it to bother actually lined up. Close enough. Yeah, that's close enough. Let's put down the rest of these. Switch over to high speed. It's taking so long. And it's all just the same. Splitter, pipe, splitter, pipe. Okay. Belts. Still using up the coal that was on the belt there. All the pipes hooked up. Okay. 
goes too far out. Okay. Now, the pumps hooked up those pipes up above. So, I'm go to the edge here and then go over towards where the belt is. You hear the water rushing. get it out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. All right. Move this over here. to bring this out to the edge. distance and be efficient now that I recall I think the uh, pump will go anywhere on a pipe so be put the pipe down first then select the pump and make sure it's the right direction there you go That's a good spot for it. And let's give it power. Marvelous. All right. Uh, the tricky part, getting all this stuff cranked up. I think three biomass burners will be enough to bootstrap the place. Get them all hooked up. Once once I got all four of those giant coal generators going, I can dismantle all of this. And I just realized I need power to the miner. I need coal going down those belts. So I disconnected the miner from the rest of the uh, area. Put another biomass burner down. And we'll hook that in. There, that'll power the miner, so we'll have coal coming down the belts. Let me make sure it's working here. Two thousand years later. Yeah, see the sun has come up. It took that long for all that coal to make it out of here. A long time, all night, for the coal to make it out of here. And here, here it comes. And let's make sure they all get filled up. 
it's all moving. It looks good. All right. All four of these have got their fill. So I'm going to activate this one here. Yeah, you can see you've got power there now. Activate this one. Bring them all online one at a time. And let's make sure this is running okay. Yeah, it is. There we go. Got four of them running. Don't be needing these guys anymore. Don't know why I shut them off before I get rid of them. It's almost like I think they're real electrical things. Uh, now that I got those four generators running, I can hook up our main production area. Send that power out there, which is what it was there for. And let's see what our draw is here. Yep. Producing about 300 megawatts. Using up maximum 185. In good shape. And we can get rid of this guy too. Got the miner running off of the main power now. Excellent. All right. Well, there you go. I've got uh, the main power up and running over in its own little area there. Uh, next episode, I suppose, like we can do some more upgrades. Uh, send more stuff up the. Space elevator. Get some more tiers and stuff going. But uh, now we have enough power. And uh, maybe I should also, <laughs> before I do anything, start automating screws as well as everything else. But anyway, that's all for today. As always, thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you again tomorrow. <laughs>